Hello everyone, this is Liz with EC QuickBooks Training and in today's video we're going to look at QuickBooks for contractors using purchase orders for your subcontracts. So let's get started. Show you is how to record and uh, keep track of your subcontractors um, invoicing. So we're going to be using the purchase order to do that. And I know usually when you think about purchase orders, you think about ordering materials and um, keeping track of inventory, uh, things like that. But you can also use it for your services and you can use it for um, keeping track of your contracts. So we're going to look at QuickBooks Desktop and then I'm going to show you how to do it in QuickBooks Online. So I have created a purchase order and in this case, um, we have it by building. We have items and we have it by buildings. Here is building 100, 200, 300. And the total contract amount is actually um, 585,000. So this is a subcontractor for a GC, general contractor, and the total contract amount is 585,982. So as you can see, something, some have been billed. So how it works is you do a purchase order. We have the items, descriptions. Now we don't use the rate. What we use is actually the quantity because the way the purchase order works in QuickBooks is by quantity. Um, so if you have a thousand dollar, I'm sorry, a thousand um, items and the rate could be anything, a thousand items of some kind of inventory, QuickBooks is going to um, go off of the quantity that's how it works so in this case i have put the contract amount under quantity i did the i changed it here to say contract amount and you can do that under um custom templates see i have a custom template here called subcontractors and under the quantity i did contract amount the rate now you have to have a rate but i just put a rate of one which is essentially the contract amount which it states right here and then this is um when the contractor has built and closed means that this item this line has been closed because it has been fully billed so i'm going to show you a report now this is how i would set it up for a subcontractor and let me see if we can view take a preview of how this looks here it is let me see if i can zoom in a little bit so this is how i set up the um let's see if i can there we go this is how i set up the um purchase order it's just basically a purchase order which includes the items and um includes the items in the contract amount. So here's the date, the purchase order, and all the information. So it has the total contract amount. It should say at the bottom. Let's see, sorry, my windows are not, it's not in my recording. Okay, so here's the total contract amount, 585,982. So let me close out of this, and let's go to the reports. I have a report. Um, and I have memorized this report and I've called it subcontractor progress billing. And this will show, um, all the uh, purchase orders that I have open, but I want to focus just on the one that I built. So I go off of this number. I'm going to filter and it's by number. Let's see here. And it's number um, 06, 06 to 06. Okay, and I just wanna focus on just this. So here's the total contract um, purchase order, total contract for this vendor. 
and this is what we have received for these particular line items. And you can have another column here, possibly with your products and services if you like it, but I just had the item description. So this is what we've received, and this is the balance of this purchase order or the balance of this contract for this subcontractor. And yeah, so it's pretty, it's pretty neat how you can, once you get a bill from this subcontractor, you can receive it and apply it. So let's go ahead. I'm going to click close and I'm going to show you new enter bill. And it's going to ask us to, if we want to apply it to a purchase order, we say yes and it'll bring up this um, box. So we select it, we click OK. And then we can go off and select what we want um, We want to bill. So these are the items that are left to bill. So we can go ahead and mark, let's say we don't, he's not billing for that. He's only billing for that or billing 10,000 for that, or I put a thousand. But you get the idea. Um, so it's kind of a progress billing for your subcontractor where you can see what he's billed, apply it to the total contract. Now, can you do this in QuickBooks Online? Yes, you can. Let me show you. I have a purchase order here. I did 6,000 under the quantity. The rate is one and the total amount is six. I put it to a customer and I have I have received a bill for 1200 and this purchase order is not closed yet because the full amount has not been billed. So I'm going to close this. Here is that bill. And then we can also look at reports. So if we go to open purchase order detail, we can see it right here and we can customize the columns, change columns. So let's take out the account just so we could see it a little bit better. Here we go. So, and um, here is the product and services, the quantity, which is the total contract price, what we have been billed for, what's left outstanding. So once this is um, fully built, it will, be closed and um, this is how you can track your subcontractors um, contracts in QuickBooks. Um, have you tried this? Please let me know in the comments below or will you be trying this? Let me know too. If you have any questions um, or need help setting this up, I would be more than happy to help you. Uh, you can contact me through my website. The link is below. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more how to's tips and tricks and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you on the next one.